Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Brienne with Brienne's Fish Fam and today we will be doing a species spotlight on the pelvic chromis pulcher, also known as crebensis or commonly known as cribs. Uh, they are extremely peaceful dwarf cichlids. The males reach 4.9 4 inches or 12.5 centimeters. The females uh, are a little bit smaller at 3.1 inches or 7.9 centimeters. Both males and females have horizontal lines running from their heads to their caudal fins, which is the, their tail or the fin on the end of the fish. Um, and they both display a pinkish red pigment on their abdomens. Nigerian red crebensis males have a light, light red pigment uh, that runs from the bottom of their head to about their midsection. And the pigment can change when they're pairing off or breeding. Uh, crebensis breed like crazy. That's why some people recommend to not breed crebensis for profit because they're so common and they're so easy to breed. You basically just need a male and female adequate substrate and a coconut hut. That's pretty much all you need. Um, they are native to southern Nigeria. Water parameters are 75 to 79 degrees or 29.9 to 26.1 degrees Celsius. pH 5.6 to neutral 7. Hardness is about 2 to 3 degrees carbonate hardness or KH. In the wild, they experience slow to fast water movements uh, where dense vegetation is available. Cribs generally use coconuts, huts, or other caves when they can block, the ones where they can block the hole almost all of the way when breeding uh, to where only they get in and not other like invertebrates or anything. Um, the eggs are adhesive and they're laid to the top of the coconut hut or the cave and their clutches can be anywhere from 50 to 300 eggs. Uh, that's another reason why they're not recommended for breeding for profit. Both males and females are great parents and they only occasionally eat their fry and eggs. Um, if they feel threatened they might eat their fry as well and they do pick them up in their mouth so don't be alarmed if you see that. Uh, females take most responsibility, and in some cases, they kick out the male and make the hole so only she can fit in and no other fish get in. Um, but she's a really good parent for the babies. Uh, the females uh, are probably, uh, they get a little bit more aggressive when they're breeding, and they can fight other fish if they're in a community tank. But the female, if, the, if she kicks out the male and, she, and he tries to come back in, she will get a little bit more aggressive. Uh, only in rare cases do they actually fight to where one of them may die. They're natural omnivores, which is, I think, a meat lover. No, both lover. Both, I think. Sorry. Um, but a varying diet is always great for fish, and that keeps them strong and healthy and it's always best to give them a wide diet. And this can be frozen baby brine shrimp, frozen Daphnia, live Daphnia, live baby brine shrimp, uh, smaller like ghost shrimp, like baby ghost shrimp people have seen. Uh, their fish eat them. Uh, some say the babies will eat seed shrimp, scuds, which are an amphipod. And you can do a couple others like grindle worms and white worms. Also, black worms are good. So, a nice varied diet. And I think you can do blood worms as well, which is a very common food for fish. Uh, for the ratio of males to females, you want more females to males if you're doing a larger tank. But one pair of one male to one female will be plenty to get a nice breeding project started in a 10 gallon tank. Uh, avoid any slow moving fish or fish with longer fins uh, like a guppy like a dumbo guppy because crebensis can be fin nippers and you wouldn't want that to happen to 
your prized guppy. So you can try cherry barbs, which is what we personally have. We have a nice school of cherry barbs in our 75 gallon Cravenzas tank. Uh, you can also do tetras like neon tetras, rummy nose tetras, ember tetras, galolite tetras, any really fast moving fish that's not just kind of, kind of dwell there. Um, and the different kinds of Cremensis and different names you can hear are crib, Cremensis, uh, also common crib, red crib, there's also super red crib, rainbow crib, rainbow cichlid, purple cichlid, those are all common names you'll hear. There's also Nigerian red Cremensis, which are a bit different pigment than regular Cremensis. Um, like I said earlier, they have red along with the females. Um, most of the time, normal Cremensis won't, well, the males won't really have much red on them, but they can. And there's also albino Cremensis, which we also have. They don't have the horizontal lines on them, though. And there's also other ones. So that's pretty much the conclusion of uh, the Cremensis highlight. And I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And hit the like button, please. And also consider subscribing. So.